hello everyone welcome to my channel now in this video i'm going to discuss the topic deviation by plane mirror from the chapter number 9 ray optics volume 2 of the ncert for class 12 studying students now deviation by plane mirror what is what do you mean by deviation first we need to understand the term this deviation deviation means uh, if a ray suppose deviation can occur in plane mirror as well as a refracting medium suppose this is the interface between two medium and uh, this is a plane mirror now suppose this is the direction of the incident ray okay and this is the normal at the point of incidence now in case of plane mirror because of reflection at this point the ray gets turn back at same angle as this angle if this angle is i this angle is also i now in this case suppose the ray is traveling from this first medium to second medium and assuming that this is a rarer medium this, this is a denser medium then the, if the ray is traveling from rarer to denser medium it will bend towards the normal okay now in both cases this this is the actual direction of the ray in this case this is the actual direction of the ray so deviation means the ray gets turned or gets turned due to the presence of a mirror or a refracting medium so the angle between the original direction and the actual direction that is angle of deviation and this process of a ray getting turned due to the presence of a reflecting medium or refracting medium is called deviation so in this case this is the angle of deviation delta in this case this will be the angle of deviation now deviation for refraction we will deal later on but in mirror or plane mirror see this if this is a straight line this is a straight line so sum of this angle i this is also i angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection and this is delta so i plus i plus delta will be how much plus delta will be pi because this is a straight line okay so this gives twice i plus delta is equal to pi so that gives delta is equal to pi minus twice i so this is the deviation produced by a single mirror now from this let us see what happens if we have two mirrors inclined at angle theta now suppose this is one mirror and this is another mirror and both the angles both the mirrors are inclined at angle theta okay now suppose this is the incident ray so at this surface this first reflection it goes in this direction this is the second surface so again this is the normal at the second surface it goes in this direction so this first reflection taking place on this surface second reflection takes place on this surface so twice it is undergoing reflection so suppose now in this case suppose delta 1 is the deviation in first reflection delta 2 is the deviation in second reflection now let's say this angle angle of incidence during first re reflection is alpha so if this is alpha this will also be alpha okay angle of incidence at during second reflection is beta so if this is beta this is also beta okay now suppose this is a plane mirror this is incident ray this is the reflected ray this is the normal so if this is i this is also i okay now if these two angles are equal this angle and this angle it has to be equal so if this is theta this will be theta okay why because this plus this equal to 90 degree this plus this is also 90 degree these two angles are equal so these two angles must also be equal okay so that means we can say that uh, the like 
for reflection angle between the incident ray and the normal it is equal to the angle between the incident reflected ray and the normal so we can also say that the angle between the incident ray and the surface will be equal to angle between the reflected ray and the surface so by that logic this angle this angle and this angle these two angles should be equal similarly these two angles should also be equal okay now if this angle is theta theta is the angle between the two mirrors okay now what is the deviation produced by first mirror see these are in this case reflection is taking place twice so delta total deflection deviation is equal to deviation on the first surface plus deviation on the second surface okay now what is delta one delta is pi minus twice i so that that gives delta is equal to pi minus this is angle of incidence in this case it is alpha so it's two alpha plus pi minus two beta for this case it will be pi deviation in this see this this is delta one and this is delta two okay so delta one is equal to pi minus twice alpha and delta two is equal to pi minus twice beta so delta is equal to twice pi minus two alpha plus beta minus two alpha plus beta okay now see this angle this total angle is pi by two so this angle will be this angle will be how much this angle will be pi by two minus beta similarly this angle will be pi by two minus alpha okay so that gives so in this triangle the sum of these three angles should be equal to how much pi so that is theta plus pi by two minus alpha plus pi by two minus beta which is equal to pi okay now pi by 2 plus pi by 2 is pi so this pi and these two they gets cancelled so we have theta is equal to alpha plus beta so this alpha plus beta can be replaced by theta so that gives how much delta is equal to twice pi minus twice theta or i can write delta is equal to 2 pi minus theta so this is the expression for deviation this is quite interesting that deviation it depends on the angle between the two mirrors and it is independent of angle of incidence at the two surfaces so this is the case when the ray gets deviated from two mirrors inclined at angle theta now let us find a way to approach this problem it reads a ray of light is incident at an angle theta on a reflecting surface the reflecting surface is now rotated through angle phi find the change in the angle between the incident and the refracted ray okay so in this case initially the angle between the incident ray and the refracted ray is how much if angle of incidence is theta angle of reflection will also be theta so this total angle will be 2 theta okay so 2 theta is the total angle between the incident ray and the refracted ray now what happens now the plane mirror is rotated through angle phi okay now suppose this is the new position of the plane mirror okay see the plane mirror is rotated keeping the incident ray same we are not changing the direction of incident ray only the mirror is rotated so if the mirror is rotated through angle phi so that means this angle is phi this is the original direction of the plane mirror and now that this is a new position so this mirror it is rotated through angle phi in this direction now if the mirror is rotated through angle phi this normal will also turn in this direction normal will also shift in this direction through angle phi so this is the new position of the normal okay so now the this is the incident ray so now 
this is the initial position of the normal and this is the new position okay so now the incident ray is making an angle theta plus phi with the normal okay now if the incident ray is making an angle theta plus phi with the theta plus phi sorry theta plus phi with the normal it means in this now the angle between the incident ray and the refracted ray will be two times of this two times of theta plus phi now initially for the initial position of the mirror the angle of incidence was theta so angle between the incident ray and the refracted ray in that case will be two theta now it is two theta plus phi so how much is the change so two theta plus phi minus two theta so that gives two phi okay so that means if the mirror is rotated through angle phi the refracted ray gets turned by an angle of 2 phi okay now so this is also quite interesting this rotation of the ray is independent of angle of incidence okay this is independent of independent of angle of incidence so i hope this 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 concept is clear to you so before we proceed to the next concept